So I want to respond to Mark Nizam here, but before I do, I want to say that look, I uh, I don't know what this means for the case, and be- it was never my intention to to have any effect on this case. Or I wasn't I, as I said in the video the other day, I had was under no illusion that anything <laughs> my little YouTuber self had to say on this would uh, uh, catch the attention of anyone of any import that had anything to do with this case. I kind of figured that Team Crump and all that might be checking in on me once in a while, but <laughs> so be it. You know, I'm not making videos for them. Um, so, yeah. What at all, if it, if in all it any amounts, amounts to anything, I don't know. So, I wanted to, though, I wanted to Mar- uh, respond to Mark here because it's kind of bothersome. I don't know exactly who he's talking about here, right? What does he say in response to the 7 Eleven video here? He says, I think that there's some interesting points are raised in it, and apparently it's the of okay, blah, blah, blah. I am bothered by some of the generalizations made by the host. I don't know exactly who he's talking about there, whether he's talking about me or none your business or the folks at the treehouse here or maybe just a combination of all and then he does of course the ad hominem here uh, the the oh ad nauseum tactic of conspiracy <laughs> look it's speculation okay I mean if someone is saying that it's absolute that something nefarious went on there between Trayvon and those those folks those three guys well, we can discount that, right? We can just say, well, obviously, obviously, you don't see that on the tape. But what we do see is, well, what we do at least here is Trayvon leave and stand outside for approximately five minutes, and then we see him leave. Of course, we never got that from the media, though. But more importantly, more importantly, is why did nobody investigate this? That's... The, the real thing here, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, they, he goes on to say that nothing they did suggested any criminal or questionable activity. Well, no. But if we're talking about the possible marijuana use of Trayvon Martin, uh, it, that is not in question. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that at all. So... If we want to try to find out the story and look at what is out there that we possibly can look at, we ought to do with that information what anyone ought to do and ask questions, speculate, find out what this means for the case or this or that, right? He goes on to say he does find it interesting that with the suggestion that TM... Trayvon Martin did seem to reappear. Well, yeah. Now, if they have video of the door, that would be nice. If they have video of the outside pointing towards the outside, uh, the front of the building there, that would be nice. That wasn't provided, if that exists at all. And apparently they didn't question the the clerk. Nobody really looked into it. Nobody. Why? Why is that? Why did nobody look into it? Why did no law official look into it to this day? And that was one of my questions about this before I even... It's amazing how just hours before I found out about this, that I just posted on um, on Piero's video saying that exact same thing. Did the cops look at this? Did the prosecutor Angela Corey look at this? Did anybody? No, they didn't. It, It was YouTubers and... And the conservative trees ho- tree house who looked. <laughs> and that's another thing that should be abundantly clear. I keep trying to restate over and over again. This was a, a team effort, right? I couldn't have done this without the help of others. And it was none of your business who actually spotted Trayvon coming out of the store there five minutes later. I posted a video up. I couldn't see him. I just speculated that he may have known those guys. Right? Let us not also forget... The story, right? The story that we were all sold. That Trayvon didn't know anyone from that area. 
Well, that's not true because in another article it states that he played with football, played football with the some other youth in in that in that um, retreat at Twin Lakes. And if he knows these guys, well, apparently he knows people around there. What was the other aspect of the story? Oh yes, he was just merely going to the store to buy some watermelon cocktail and Skittles for his uh, for Brandy Green's son. And that's all he was doing. Well, he might not have been, right? There might be something else going on here. And then we got the speculations about, well, why did he run? We get told one thing by the media, by the family, right? That he was this presented to us as this frightened 12-year-old boy. Well, I'll talk about that more in another video. But, I mean, can this all play into that storyline somehow? Well, maybe if somebody did their job, we might know. And that's really the point. So, that's all for now. We'll see where this goes. If it goes anywhere, who knows. But I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and you all keep doing what you're doing, and that's it. Peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.